Hey everyone, welcome to this session on big data techniques, a crucial part of the fintech landscape transforming investment management. As future CFA professionals, it's essential to grasp how advancements in technology like big data, AI, and machine learning are reshaping our field. These innovations aren't just buzzwords, they're tools that can help us evaluate investments optimize portfolios, and manage risks more effectively. So let's dive in and explore how these technologies are changing the game for asset managers and investment advisors. FinTech, short for financial technology, represents tech-driven innovations in financial services and products. Initially, FinTech focused on data processing and automating routine tasks. Today, it's about using advanced computer systems to make decisions, give investment advice, plan finances, and even manage business lending and payments. Here are some key developments in fintech related to our industry. Number one is analysis of large data sets. Investment decision making now leverages vast amounts of both traditional data, like economic indicators and financial statements, and non-traditional data, such as social media and sensor networks. Number two is analytical tools. AI and machine learning are used to identify complex, non-linear relationships within these large data sets. Third is automated trading. Benefits include lower transaction costs, market liquidity, and efficient trading. Fourth is automated advice. Robo-advisors offer low-cost, tailored advice to retail investors. Fifth is financial record keeping. Distributed ledger technology provides secure means of recording and tracing ownership of financial assets on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. Now let's talk about big data. This term refers to the massive amounts of data generated from various sources. These sources can be categorized into traditional, and non-traditional. Traditional sources like institutions, businesses, schools, hospitals, companies, government agencies, and financial markets, which produce data through daily operations, customer transactions, public services, and trading activities. Non-traditional sources are newer and include social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. IoT devices collecting environmental data, internal company data, and data from computers, smartphones, cameras, and microphones. RFID tags used in tracking and inventory management also contribute to big data. Understanding these sources helps organizations analyze data for insights, better decisions, and innovation. Volume, velocity, and variety are three key characteristics of big data. Volume means data quantities range from megabytes to petabytes. Velocity refers to the speed at which data is communicated, either in real time or near time. Variety includes structured data like SQL tables, unstructured data like social media posts, and semi-structured data like HTML codes. Alternative data sources provide new insights into consumer behavior and company performance, which are critical for making informed investment decisions. The three main sources of alternative data are data generated by individuals, business processes, and sensors. Data generated by individuals are usually from online activities. Such data is often unstructured. Data generated by business processes is structured data from sales information and supply chains. Data generated from sensors is growing exponentially compared to other sources. Sensor data collected from devices like smartphones, cameras, RFID chips, and satellites is growing exponentially due to microprocessors and networking technology in personal and commercial electronic devices. This data is embedded in physical forms like office buildings, homes, and vehicles, creating the Internet of Things network arrangement. 
enabling interaction and information sharing. The incorporation of big data into investment analysis presents a multifaceted challenge. Quality ensures that data is accurate and free from bias. Data quality itself poses a significant hurdle. Selection bias, missing observations, and the presence of outliers can all distort the underlying picture. Furthermore, data volume is equally critical. Data volume is about managing and processing large amounts of data. A sufficient quantity is necessary to draw meaningful conclusions. Finally, the suitability of the data itself must be considered. Suitability determine whether the data is appropriate for the intended analysis. Fortunately, advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning offer a compelling solution. These powerful tools hold immense potential in addressing the challenges associated with big data in investment analysis. Now that we've covered the basics of big data and its challenges, let's explore some advanced tools that help us make sense of all this information. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is all about using computer systems to do tasks that require thinking and decision-making, much like the human brain. Originally, AI programs followed simple if-then rules to solve specific problems. But with more advanced processors, AI evolved. Now, we have neural networks that mimic how our brains process information. These are used in things like financial analysis, data mining, and logistics. Then there's machine learning, denoted as ML. Think of machine learning as computer programs that get better at their tasks over time as they gain more experience. To work well, machine learning needs a lot of data, often called big data, to model accurate relationships. Machine learning algorithms start with inputs, variables, or data sets, learn by finding patterns in the data, and then model outputs, that is, targets. When there are no specific targets, ML just explores the data to find underlying structures. Machine learning typically uses two sets of data, training data and validation data. Training data helps the ML program learn relationships from past data. Validation data tests how well the model learned these relationships. However, machine learning still relies on human judgment to choose the best techniques for analyzing data. It needs a lot of clean, authentic, and unbiased data to work effectively. Sometimes machine learning can overfit, meaning it models the training data too perfectly and mistakes noise for actual patterns. This can make it fail with new data. Underfitting happens when the model is too simple and misses real relationships in the data. Machine learning can also be a bit of a black box sometimes, meaning its processes and results aren't always easy to understand. There are two main types of machine learning supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Supervised learning uses labeled training data to find outputs following the logic of X leads to Y. It's like using past data to predict a stock's future returns or the stock market's performance for the next day. Unsupervised learning analyzes data without labeled outcomes, finding patterns or structures on its own. For example, it might group data based on similar attributes without knowing what those groups mean in advance. Some methods like deep learning nets use both supervised and unsupervised learning. Deep learning nets use neural networks with many layers to handle complex tasks like image and speech recognition and forecasting. Machine learning has greatly impacted investment research by making more data available analyzing big data more effectively, speeding up processing, and cutting storage costs. This helps predict trends and events, providing insights at all levels, from individual firms to global markets. Image recognition algorithms are even used in places like store parking lots, shipping, manufacturing, and agriculture.
All right, now that we've seen how AI and ML can analyze big data, let's discuss how we actually handle and process this data. Data science is an interdisciplinary field that combines scientific methods like machine learning, statistics, algorithms, and computer techniques to extract useful information from big data or any data, really. Big data is often unstructured, which means it needs some special handling before it can be analyzed. This is where data scientists come in, transforming messy data into something usable. Data processing is all about getting data ready for analysis. Here are five key methods data scientists use. Number one is capture. This is how we collect and format data for analysis. Low latency systems, like those used in real-time pricing apps, handle high volumes of data with minimal delay. High latency systems, on the other hand, aren't worried about real-time data and can afford longer delays. Number two is curation. Here, we clean and manage data to ensure its quality. This involves finding and fixing errors and dealing with missing data. Third is storage. Data storage is about archiving and storing data. Structured and unstructured data require different storage formats to be effective. Fourth is search. This is all about locating the data you need. Advanced applications help us sift through big data to find specific information. Number five is transfer. This involves moving data from its storage location to an analytical tool. For example, data from a stock exchange price feed can be directly fed into analysis software. Once the data is processed, we need to visualize it to make sense of it. Data visualization is how we display data in a graphical format. For traditional structured data, we use tables, charts, and trends. For non-traditional unstructured data, we need more advanced techniques. Interactive 3D graphics. Multi-dimensional visualization using colors, shapes, and sizes. Tag clouds where word size reflects frequency and mind maps showing relationships between different concepts. Text analytics uses computer programs to extract and analyze information from large unstructured text or voice data sources like reports, earnings calls, internet posts, emails, and surveys. This can be crucial for making investment decisions. Lexical analysis, for instance, looks at key words or phrases based on their frequency in a document. Natural Language Processing, NLP, is a branch of research that develops computer programs to interpret human language, sitting at the intersection of computer science, AI, and linguistics. NLP can handle tasks like translation, speech recognition, sentiment analysis, and topic analysis. It's used in compliance to review electronic communications, detect fraud, and retain confidential information. With machine learning, NLP can predict trends and performance by analyzing speech, looking at preferences, tones, likes, and dislikes. For example, NLP can evaluate the nuances in communications from policymakers like the U.S. Fed or the European Central Bank by analyzing their choice of topics, words, and tones. In investment, NLP can monitor financial analyst commentary to detect sentiment shifts, potentially predicting changes in their recommendations before they officially update their buy, hold, or sell ratings. To sum it up, big data, AI, and machine learning are not just futuristic concepts, but are integral to modern investment management. As CFA candidates, understanding these technologies and their applications will give you a significant edge in the field. Remember, the key is to stay curious, keep learning, and embrace these advancements to make better data-driven investment decisions. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today. Make sure to review your notes and don't hesitate to ask questions if you need further clarification. 
See you in the next session.